Hello everybody and welcome back to Southeast by Midwest on YouTube. I'm Cassie and today we are going to be doing my October favorites. Now if you've been around the channel for a little while then you know that I upgraded my lighting not too long ago and usually I have a nice big ring light with the little pretty circles in the eyes and all that kind of stuff but right now I have a head cold and so my head is like pounding but I wanted to kind of film these videos and get them out there so um I kind of could not sit in front of the ring light with my glasses off without making my headache like super, super, super bad. And I have class tomorrow that I have to attend. So I kind of am using the natural light. So for these next few videos, you're going to kind of see the same makeup look and the same top because I am pre-filming because I will be in class for the rest of the week from 8 o'clock in the morning until 6 o'clock at night and I don't know when this head cold is going to go away. I do have a light over to the side to help fill because we only have natural light on the one window. So enough with that, let's get into the 2016 Favorites October Edition. So the first item that I was loving for the month of October was the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Now this is it shrunk down. Um, it is not wet. I did not use it today. So this is Real Techniques which is done by the Pixie Woos um, here on YouTube. This is their version of the Beauty Blender and a lot of people on YouTube use this for like doing their foundation, um, doing their concealer and also kind of using it which you can see mine has that kind of powdery cast on it. Um, when it's wet using it to kind of put the um, the powder on the under eyes and like along the contour to kind of make those more sharp and pronounced. And I really do like this sponge for all of those. Um, I just broke this out in the month of September. I've actually had it probably for over a year in packaging and just have never gotten around to actually using it. But I didn't have any beauty blenders around that weren't kind of needing to be thrown away because you're supposed to replace them every few months. And I didn't really have the funds right now to go out and buy a new beauty blender. So I was like, I'll bust this out, give it a try, hopefully I like it. And I do. I don't know yet if I like this more than the actual beauty blender. I'm going to have to kind of use it a little bit more, kind of use, you know, half and half and all that kind of stuff. And do an actual in-depth review. But as for right now, I was loving this for the month of October. Oh, and one last thing to mention is um, that you can purchase one of these for $6.99 over at Ulta or a two pack for $10.99 over at Ulta. The next item that I'm loving for the month of October goes into skincare and that is my Clarisonic Mia 2. And this is just kind of outer travel case that it comes with. I actually have the kind of rosy pink, kind of dusty pink edition and You can see it says Mia 2. And I got mine from Ulta in I got mine from Ulta in a little box set that came with like a couple of different brush heads and a couple of items inside it. Now the way that these work is you can twist the cap off and use the brush. And then you can also twist the brush heads off to kind of replace them or to use different ones. So for instance, this one that I currently have on there, let me put it back on there which is the pink and white one, is the radiance. It kind of, um, you use it and it kind of makes the skin glow a little bit. It's not as harsh on the skin as say, the deep pore cleansing one, which has the blue circle kind of in there. That one kind of, um, it, it's a little rougher on the face. There's also a normal one, and then there's also one for sensitive skin. So there are different brush heads. And you can use this with pretty much any cleanser which is one of the things that I like about it. Um, another thing that I love about it is that it has a timed setting. I'm not going to turn it on because it goes for a full minute but when you first turn it on you start using it across the forehead and it then will pulse and then you're supposed to move to the kind of t-zone area, the nose, the kind of chin. It'll pulse again, you move to one cheek and it pulses one last time for you to do the other cheek and then it just cuts off. There also is a sensitivity button on here if when it first starts it's just too much for you or not enough you can dial it up or dial it down. 
So, I am loving this. And this can be purchased for $169 at like Ulta, Sephora, Macy's, Nordstrom's, places like that. And um, the 169 version comes with, I believe, the Mia 2, the travel case, the charger, and a Clarisonic cleansing item. They also will sometimes have a um, more expensive bundle where, where the Clarisonic will partner with a skincare company of, for that time, and you'll be able to get that with a bundle for more money. So I think right now they have some going on with like First Aid Beauty. My next favorite for October takes us back to makeup, and that is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD um, Liquid Foundation, and I am in shade R230, which I believe is like an ivory shade. Now, this can be purchased for $43, and this is a one ounce bottle, and it currently comes in 40 shades. I'm actually gonna have a full review of this and the stick foundation coming up on Friday, so make sure that you're subscribed so you catch that. But I found for me that, and I, by the way, I did receive this from Influencer. However, um, that does not influence what I'm talking about because I also received the stick foundation in the same package, and just a spoiler, I don't um, I actually found that this blended really, really, it blends really, really well, both with a brush and with a, um, a makeup sponge. I have used two different kinds of brushes with this. I used a stippling brush and I've used the, um, Sigma 3D Kabuki brush, the one where it's kind of like angled at a tip. I've used that and I've used like a beauty sponge. I'm not going to tell you which one I used, but I found that I actually prefer the beauty sponge with this more than I prefer the brushes. The brushes do well, but the beauty sponge kind of just, it gives it a better kind of look. Um, I find that on my skin, which I'm actually wearing this today, it makes my skin just kind of look more even. It doesn't make it look kind of flat and cakey like some other foundations can look. Um, I also like Due to the fact that I'm in cosmetology school, I like the color range that is available. This is currently available in 40 different shades through Sephora. And I like that this doesn't oxidize real, you know, too bad. So it kind of is kind of a true color match to what you see in the bottle. My next favorite for October, um, I actually don't have a price. Well, it it kind of, it ranges. Okay, first off, it is the Bioderma. Um, moisturizing micellar water and I have a full review of the different micellar waters and a couple of other products and I'll link that down below but the moisturizing okay so I love the original I've actually done a review for that on YouTube previously which I can also link down below but I absolutely love this one now I've always wanted to try them and they became available at Beautylish a couple years back and I purchased the original and I was like, yes, amazing, love it. Then they came out with the moisturizing. And I was like, well, I'm not going to buy it. I already have the original. It can't be that much different. So Bioderma contacted me. This was also sent to me for review. But again, does not influence it being in my favorites video as I was not paid. This isn't sponsored, any of that. So they sent these to me. And I decided I was going to try out the moisturizing one. And first off, it's the same kind of packaging. I did not get the pump top. I got the little pour top. And it has a little bit of a kind of like a scent to it. A little more than what the original does. It smells like the original but a little bit more potent. And when you try it, first off, this removes my makeup way better than the original. Which I did not think was possible. Um, on top of that, it kind of, the original would kind of dry my skin. It wouldn't dry it. But it didn't add moisture to my skin. And this does. Like when I remove my makeup with this, I can feel the moisture on my skin. And when I'm done, I kind of just use one last wipe once all the makeup is gone. And I'll do this over my face again. And then just kind of pat it in a little bit. My skin has been so soft and moisturized since I started, since I switched to using this over my other makeup removers and wipes. Because I wasn't just a Bioderma exclusive girl due to the fact that you can only buy it from Beautylish. So I kind of, I hoarded it. So I didn't use it all the time. Um, just when I had really super strong makeup. Okay, so this ranges in sizes from, you can get the little one for I think like 
six no not six ninety. I'll have the prices on the blog post that this will link to. Um, but and it ranges all the way from a little travel size bottle to a medium bottle to a large bottle. You can buy three sizes in this in this one. But I really, really love this. The last kind of beauty item that I'm loving for the month of October are the Urban Decay and Naked Skin color correctors. Now I should clarify in the fact that I am loving the illuminating which is the pink shade more than I'm lo loving the green one. I do like the green one but this is the one that is my favorite. But I kind of wanted to talk about them kind of together. Okay so we know about the whole color correcting phase. If you don't and you'd like me to do a video on it then leave me a comment down below telling me that. But your green is supposed to counteract your reds. And this has the same, let me show you. So I also use the Urban Decay Just Naked Skin Concealer. And I'm in shade Fair Neutral. And as you can see, these all three have the same kind of outer packaging. And they all three have that kind of twist up cap with the doe foot applicators. Let me show you some swatches. Now I am planning on doing like an in-depth blog post on these. I just have not had time to get it up yet. I apologize. On top here, you have the green color corrector. The middle one is the concealer and the bottom one is the pink brightening. Now, here are the pros and the cons. For the green, I like the green. It covers up my redness. However, not all foundations are created equally and therefore not all foundations will cover this equally. I have found that some of them will not cover the green kind of cast that this can put on there. It really has to be even and I do blend and I actually will top it with a little bit of the concealer over the top of it but this will still peek through. So. I like it. It covers, but this one is so hard to cover with a foundation. It really has to be a full coverage foundation. Well, at least medium to full coverage. You, I really cannot use like a tinted moisturizer or a light coverage foundation over this because it picks up that green cast. I have found with just the basic concealer that my under eye circles are just, whoa, too much for it. Um, I get really dark blue almost black under eye circles that peek through that skin and when I only use a concealer to conceal that area it really shows like it, it almost looks like raccoon eyes like my mascara transferred down but when you go to wipe the area nothing comes off and the circles are still there so and I don't know why it does that like I could not wear makeup and they won't be as bad but when I put makeup on it like emphasizes them and the concealer does not hide it now I have found that even by itself, the pink illuminating one really does a great job of concealing my under eye circles. Plus when I cover it with the foundation, due to the fact that it's like it blends really well into the skin because it's a pink shade, I don't have the problem with the green one of the foundations not covering it. So I really can just pop on a prime, you know, like the Becca Backlight Primer over this and my skin looks great. I can put like a tinted moisturizer or, or go so far as a full coverage. I have found though that with a full coverage it can kind of keep that illuminating factor from coming in. So when I wear a fuller coverage foundation or I'm building up my coverage like I did today, I will go over the top of it with the light concealer. But I have found that when I'm using a lighter foundation or just a primer, I can get away with only using the pink color corrector without the concealer. I hope that all made sense. Anyway, you can buy this for $28 from either Sephora or Ulta. And they do currently have it in, I think, four shades? I like. It's five shades. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so this month I thought I would do something a little kind of extra, a little different, and I'd share with you some kind of lifestyle things that I'm liking. So I thought I would share some favorite songs with you this month. So the two songs that I am really, really loving this month, um, the first one is Lost Boy by Ruth B. Now I was introduced to this song because I am subscribed and I watch the Shaytards vlogs. I don't watch them religiously, I get behind, etc, etc, but I happened to watch the one where they all sang Lost Boy. You know, Avia was 
playing the piano and the different ones chimed in and it was really really good I liked the song so I hunted and I hunted and I finally found the song and they were good but the original is is great Ruth B does a great job on the song the lyrics are great the music itself is pretty good it is a great song and when I start my playlist it's usually where I will go to start from um, I will start that and then just kind of shuffle the rest of the songs. Now if I don't start at that song, I will start at uh, Love Yourself by Justin Bieber. Now I will tell you, I am not a Bieber person. Um, I don't really like Bieber's songs. Well, I don't say that I don't like them, they're just not what I usually gravitate towards. Um, I do like all kinds of music. I like pop, I like rap, I like R&B, I like country, I like classical. I, I'm well rounded in the music. But Bieber songs just never really caught with me. But my husband thought that I should listen to this song. He thought I would like it. And so I was like, yeah, okay. So I listened to it and I actually really did like it. So if I don't start it with The Lost Boy, I will start it with Love Yourself. You should really go give those a listen. But that was my October favorite, so hopefully you enjoyed them. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends. Um, this month I'm going to do something a little different and links to all of the products mentioned will not be in the description box below. Instead, you'll have to link over to the blog post to get to the links. Um, I may not keep it that way. I may put the links in both places, but I'm trying to kind of spread the love between both my YouTube channel and my blog posts. So make sure you're following me over there as well. And make sure you're following me on all the social media because sometimes I do things over on my social media that I don't cover here, like on Snapchat and things like that. So make sure you're following me there as well. Um, make sure to leave me a comment with what your favorites were for this month. And until next time, bye!